What is up, B. Jones? Meets world. That's right. We are back in Minecraft, people. The seed is temple. I know I say that almost every time, but I don't want people to be like, what? what's going on? So, I've done a few things since the last episode. Nothing huge, but a few things. The first thing I did is I got this chest, and I'm going to show you right now. Basically, a chest is wood planks, and just hold your mouse button down, and drag, and voila, there's your chest. But we don't want it, so... Also, I made this bed, which means no more nighttime. How awesome is that? Um, I can't show you how I made it, because I don't have enough wood. But it's three planks on the bottom, and three wool on top. And then you get a bed. Then I've also made um, a cobblestone like bridge. So to do that, you put the cobblestone like this. You're going to need some of these. These are cobblestone walls. So basically it's a double stack too high too high of cobblestone for cobblestone wall and then three for cobblestone slab I needed more slab you can use stairs but I like the slab because it's a little more gradual and well that's just what I rolled with so I'm gonna show you guys that right now it's right through here I also got rid of most of this dirt that was out front of here so here's the bridge I made because it was driving me nuts, this uh, thing, the water that's under here. So I made a bridge, um, and it just goes down to the cave, and I mined a little bit. This is what I've mined so far. This is not deep enough for what I like. Um, I mean, it's deep enough, but it's not wide enough. I normally go four wide, even on my stairs, and I put actual stairs all the way up. So, I'm going to have to work that out. Okay. And now that this is right here, I'll probably get rid of this whole little wall right here. But first, let's come up here, and what we're going to do is real simple. We're just going to knock the rest of this crap out right here, because it looks crappy, so. And you know me, I like my stuff looking all uniformed and stuff. I just got a message real quick. Let's see what it says. Oh. Don't look important. Stupid draw something. I don't even play that game. I should just delete the damn thing. No one I know plays it anymore either. So this is good because it's giving you plenty of cobblestone. I also explored a little bit when I was uh, not recording, because I think it's better to do that. Ooh, there's a zombie outside my door. No, he didn't. Best get away from my house. I feel you. That's not even funny. Do I have... Yes, I do. Okay. So... I explored a bit because I wanted to know, like, where am I going to build, you know? Where am I going to build my house? And it's back behind there, and it's a huge grassy area. And it's perfect for me to build a house and have a farm and all that good stuff. Because I like having the farm real close to my house. <coughs> It's better to keep your thing all the way full rather than mediocre 
full, you know, you want it as full as possible, so. Sometimes it's just quicker to do it, like, the way that I'm doing it. I don't care about snowballs. And for right now... Once we find lava, we're going to be in business. The only bad thing about it is, is right now, this is where my... I thought I made a... I did. This is where my home is right now, which means it's going to move and... This mine shaft, I don't really want to do too much with, but, you know, I do have a home here, so that's good. I'll probably just try to find enough to make a nether bed. it's really important to be able to have a place to farm, to be able to get your cattle and stuff going, especially sheep. I need to get some sheep, and I can't really do that until I have my wheat farm because they're attracted to wheat I believe so I'm not a big fan of this so we're going to take this piece out and we're going to take all of this out because you gotta have some uniformity I know I said I wasn't going to show a bunch of mining but I lied Really, I mean, that's the point of the game. I'm not super fast. <laughs> I don't know how people find diamond, like, in the first, like, six episodes. We'll see how many episodes it takes me. Because, like I said, I'm a builder more than I am a miner. So, a lot of times, <laughs> I'm building stuff. You saw how much effort I put into my little shack. I mean... For being a shack, it's pretty nice, you know, so. I'm going to need to make some more torchies. Torchiesies. Yep, so today I'm headed to the Home Depot. I'm going to be doing some building of my own. Not really. I'm going to uh, be packing up. I'm getting ready to do a move. About to start some school and stuff. Going for the pharmacy. So I listened to the new Jay-Z album. Dope as hell. I'd say there's probably like two or three songs though where I'm like, eh. Like, the one with Beyonce, it was like, come on. You should have had her on there for shaking her hips. Not that crap. I don't know why she had to go all ballady. I mean, the only Jay-Z Beyonce songs that I've ever liked are like the ones where there's like a beat to it, you know? That's what it's all about. Crazy in love. See, I was going to make a thing over there, but look how everything freezes. That's why your farm can't be over here, and that's why we're going to have to move. But before we move, I'm going to make sure that I have enough materials to build my house. So, I'm not really sure what I'll build. It might be wood. 
Even the wood catches on fire. Which kind of sucks. Because if lightning strikes, then your house is going to burn down. Not that I've ever had lightning strike my actual house. But you never know. Um, what am I doing? So, this is what I get for not making a backup last time. I had to walk all the way back. It's just easier to do it that way. And I only have one bed right now, so that really sucks. Oh, is it nighttime? It's nighttime. So, you can only sleep in your bed during night, and then it turns it into morning. But not morning morning yet, because bad guys will still be out for a few seconds till the sun's like up, up. Which is fine, but. See, so we're making our little cave here. When I do build my house, I'll have a treasure room. It will probably be in the basement. I'll make a basement or something for it. So... And I'll probably build the house ahead of time, just so I know what exactly it is I have to do. See, this is kind of how I make my house. Not my house, but you'll see what I'm t saying. See, there's my first mistake that I made on my other one. What was that? Gravel? Ugh. Like I said, I will be putting stairs down here probably. But I think this is all I'm going to do for right now. Let's come over here and get some more wood. Let's see how many. See, I've got a backup axe, so that's good. Because I only do two things. And then I call it a day, so... Just keep collecting this wood. Because that's one bad thing about the area that w I want to build in. There's no trees. So all these trees that I keep collecting are going to be really helpful. Because I'll be able to make a little tree farm. And then you just cut down your trees every once in a while. Tree farms are really good. You just basically make a tree pattern. It's... Uh, six or seven blocks away from each other just to make sure there's enough room and then you just go and you cut them all down see they're dropping trees now this grass gives you seeds which I don't know why None of it is giving me a seed. 
Those are seeds. That's what you use to build wheat. So you want to start collecting those right off the bat so you can get your little wheat farm going. Because wheat farm is where it's at. Is this tree dying? I hope so. Shears are also good to make with iron because then you can cut these little leaves down and they can be used as shrubbery. Really? Normally it drops more trees than the one you cut down, so that's good too, because that gives you more. One thing with the pigs that is really cool is that's how... Is... You're not going to find any carrots forever unless you find a dungeon chest and you happen to find a carrot in there, which is very rare. Um, you can get it from a zombie. I think I've had that happen once, and it dropped the carrot, but then when I went to pick it up, like, it disappeared or something. I don't... So, it's a very rare drop from a zombie. I remember just going out at night and killing a bunch of zombies hoping I'd get one and I never did so it's a bummer but that's how it goes I keep doing this because I know whenever I build my house it's probably going to be made out of wood so I mean if I had wool which I really want some wool Which is another good reason to get shears because actually I might m make some shears even though it's not like the most important item in the beginning I think a bucket normally trumps shears for obvious reasons but Shears are great. They let you cut the wool. And wool, unless they fixed it, <laughs> it regenerates rather quickly on the sheep. So, like, in a day or two, you'll have more wool. It's not like it doesn't take forever. I mean, you can get, like, 20 wool in a few days with just a few sheep. I should kill that, but there are some, uh, animals by where I want the new base to be, so that's a plus. I did that because I already knew that it was going to be really tall, so. Punch the dirt. Take a look at all of these. Don't come near me. Bad thing about trees. Bad guys hide under them. It's a bunch of bullshit. That tree kind of annoys me, but I won't do anything about it. Look at all those trees. 
So this was a good starting area though. I mean, with all the trees and crap right here, it really lets me save up some stuff. So, see we got 30 already. That's a more than enough for a tree farm. Seeds, flint. We got some pork chops. We should cook those. Gravel. What good is gravel anyway? About as good as dirt. Um, I get to a point where I don't even save dirt. I just start throwing it away. I don't build with dirt. I just use it for basically what I was using it for. I do try to keep my inventory sort of clean. Like this is nowhere near enough wood, so we're just gonna have to keep chopping. Which while I'm here, I might as well make another axe. Or two. Oops. Oh, it's already nighttime, actually. Which means this episode is coming to an end. I will probably just keep on chopping all these trees up like a crazy person. Like, a ton. Because I really want to be able to head over and start building our house. Anyways, that's it for this episode. I know I didn't do a lot. <laughs> it's still in the beginning. Um, and I should mention that I really don't understand redstone. So if anybody's watching this and they know some good redstone stuff on YouTube or whatever, send it my way. I'll be more than happy to learn. Um, I do like redstone, like what you're able to do with it, but a lot of times I just, I don't like how much room you have to use to have the redstone operational. I mean, like, if you have a sliding wall, then you need, like, a bunch of room behind it or to the side of it to hide all your redstone stuff. And if you don't do it right, then you're not going to be able to hide it. And I do not like being able to see it because it's ugly. <laughs> Um, redstone itself isn't, like, but the circuits and stuff, they get kind of ugly. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out the other episodes. I, uh, do a couple of Let's Plays. I do a Diablo 3 Hardcore Let's Play. I do two different characters, a mage and an archer class on Skyrim, and now... B. Jones Meets World right here. So make sure to check those out. And till next time, B. Jones out.